Welcome. I am Nataraj Upadhyaya. This is the weekly top 50 mutual funds analysis for the week ending May 3rd, 2024. This was a good week for the mutual funds. The top 50 mutual funds had an increase of 1.88% overall and uh, based, uh, that was based on one month return and based on one year return, they had 1.63% gain. So overall monthly return were a bit subdued. The monthly top 50 had 6.57% and the annual ones had 5.2%. Therefore, overall uh, the it looks like the equity funds uh, correction seems to be over. And on an annual basis, top 50 for the one month basis gave 64.11% return on a one year basis. Whereas top 50 on a one year basis gave 77.87%. What this means is the recovery of the correction is still a bit pending uh, for the e equity funds. Therefore, there's a gap between the top 50 one month basis and top 50 one year basis. Now, looking at the bottom 50 funds, still on an annual basis, 23.91, but on a weekly and a monthly basis, they're still in a correction mode. But when you look at bottom 50 average and on a one year basis, it is kind of uh, uh, close to zero return. Entire mutual fund universe, which is around 1,574 funds, which involves 80, 826 equity funds, 481 debt funds, 216 hybrid funds, and around 51 commodity funds. Their average came to annual 27.28%, which shows the healthiness of mutual fund investments in the Indian market. Looking at the equity only, the equity only one year return match the overall funds because top 50 one year basis, all funds are equity funds. Now looking at the one month basis, equity funds are looking uh, pretty good as uh, discussed before. And uh, only looking at equity funds, the equity funds average is 41.91% annually, which indicates that one should continue to invest in equity funds in India. Uh, though it gave only 2.02% on a monthly basis, which is because there were corrections, but there, is, there has been a recovery. However, the last day of the week, Friday, there was a bit of a correction. So the week ahead could be a bit of a volatility. So if you are looking for fresh investments, maybe you are better off waiting for one more week and see how the market settles before you pump in fresh money to the uh, mutual funds. Debt funds are as usual until interest rates start going down. We don't have much to talk about debt funds. They are more important for the institutional investors at this stage. Hybrid funds can be considered as a, a risk uh, uh, you know, balancing between equity correction uh, and uh, the interest rate going down. But uh, therefore, the returns of the debt funds will be subdued compared to the equity, but still they are decent. The top 50 uh, hybrid funds for on a one month return gave an annual return of 39.52% and a positive return both for the week and the month. And top 50 hybrid funds based on one year return gave 35.41%, which is less than a monthly. That means the hybrid funds are also still uh, recovering from their correction. So the, the funds that recovered from correction are different from the those from the annual performance leaders. Entire uh, hybrid mutual fund uh, uh, universe average comes to 22.06%, which is far less than 41.91% of equity funds and 27.28% of overall funds. Looking at commodity funds, commodity funds are still correcting. They, they went through significant correction through last week also. 
However, the monthly return is still positive because before the correction started in the last four weeks, there were at least two weeks of bullish run. So overall, uh, the annual returns of uh, commodity funds is around 12%, though it is much higher for the last six months because of the short-term bullish run before the correction started. So that is a summary uh, statistics. Now like, let us look at the overall uh, monthly leaders in mutual funds uh, universe. Here what I do is uh, I compute the average uh, returns of the mutual funds here, the top 50, the bottom 50, and the entire mutual fund universe. So based on the top 50 on a monthly basis, whichever fund returns are more than the average, I mark it in bold, and whichever funds show ever, above average return in timelines from one month through one year are marked in green. They are consistent performers and now have uh, come in the top 50, so they are investment worthy. And those funds are Mirai Asset, Nice Fang plus ETF Fund of Fund, HDFC Defense Fund, Though it had a correction to the last uh, week, you may want to wait for one more week whether the uh, correction will continue before fresh investment. Based on its earlier week's return, it makes into the investment grade, but you may want to have a caution uh, before pumping new money into this fund. LIC, mutual fund infrastructure fund, then uh, UTI Nifty, uh, UTI Nifty 500 Value 50 Index Fund, Motilal Oswal S&P BSE Enhanced Value either ETF or an Index Fund, BSP Tiger Fund, and Canara Robeco Infrastructure Fund, which has come into this list this week. So that is the top uh, 50 leaders um, uh, having investment worthiness. Looking at the bottom 50 funds based on last uh, one month uh, uh, return, you can see that they have corrected significantly uh, at around 6% and on a weekly basis, they have corrected at around 2%. And these are still IT funds and uh, technology funds in addition to some debt funds and commodity funds. Therefore, stay away from IT and technology funds because they are still correcting. And if you already have invested in these funds, I hope that you have sold them two months back because otherwise you would have seen significant correction uh, going on since uh, end of January. So the bad news is they're still correcting. So the bottom is not happening for these funds. So caution if you still have these funds. You are missing opportunities elsewhere. That's all. Looking at the top 50 uh, mutual funds based on one year return, and uh, again, looking for those which gave above average return for all timelines from one month through one year, the one marked in green are investment worthy. CPC ETF, uh, you can see that the monthly return may be a bit subdued, but its annual return is 108.89. So the story of CPSC ETF is not over. Motilal Osal, S&P, BSC, Enhanced Value, ETF and uh, index funds are appearing in the annual top 50. Mirai Asset, Nice Bank, plus ETF also appears in the annual top 50. Inosca India, PSC Equity Fund, and ICICI Prudential PSC Equity Fund are the two appearing on the annual uh, top 50 worthy of new investments. Looking at the bottom 50 on an annual basis, you can see that bottom 50, you know, the, the worst fund has given you a return of close to minus 11%. And uh, basically, this is to look at which kind of uh, thematic funds are hitting bottom 50. Uh, though you will see that some of the commodity funds are also, and uh, some of the debt funds are also here. But the most value of uh, this bottom 50 is to understand 
that some of the thematic funds have not worked out well. One interesting thing is Mirai Asset Hang Seng Tech ETF had recovered by 5.67% last week, 8.38% last week. Similarly, Nippon India ETF Hang Seng. So there is a recovery in the Hang Seng market. However, the annual return is subdued. So the caution here, in spite of this uh, recent uh, recovery, these funds are uh, uh, very underperforming. So uh, you have better opportunities elsewhere. Now going into the equity funds only, looking at the top 50 based on one month return, the investment worthy ones here are Mirai Asset, Nice Bank plus ETF, HTFC Defense Fund, Franklin India Opportunity Fund, LIC Mutual Fund, Infrastructure Fund, UTI Nifty 500 Value 50 Index Fund, Motilal Oswal S&P BSC Enhanced Value ETF and Index Fund, DSP Tiger Fund, and Canada Robeco Infrastructure Fund. So this is equity only. So the when you look at equity only top 50 on a one month basis, the new ones we see here are Franklin India in Opportunities Fund. And uh, yeah, that's the one new one. Again, the caution is on HTFC Depress Fund. It went through significant correction this way. So you may want to wait for one more week whether the correction will continue before uh, fresh investments. Looking at the only one year return of equity funds, the uh, top 50 are again CPSC ETF, Motilal Oswal, SNP, BSC, Enhanced Value ETF, and Index Fund, Mira Asset, Nice, Fan Plus ETF, Inusco India, PSC Equity Fund, and ICC Potential, PSC Equity Fund are investment worthy. So it is good to see that uh, top 50 leaders in the equity funds are pretty much matching with the top 50 uh, funds across all fund types. That means equity are becoming investment worthy uh, going forward. However, we need to see this particular week whether there will be a correction because uh, last Friday was a correction uh, to reconfirm uh, the re revival of bullish trend of equity funds. Now we are coming into hybrid funds based on uh, top 50 based of, uh, uh, on a one month basis. The investment worthy ones are SBI Magnum Children Benefit Fund Investment Plan, which was not there last week. JM Aggressive Hybrid Fund, Bank of India Mid and Small Cap Equity Debt and Debt Fund, Sriram Multi Asset Allocation Fund, uh, ICIC Prudential Child Care Fund and Quant Multi Asset Fund. So you can see that investment worthiness requires above average return uh, across all timelines from one month to one year. Though, therefore, some of the top ones in the list won't make it because some in some timelines, they do not have above average returns. So this uh, gives you a confirmation that the investment worthiness consideration is rock solid by be by looking for consistent returns across all timelines. That way, we get to choose consistent performance, uh, maybe at the cost of some recent high performers, but it is better to go after consistent performers. Uh, therefore, this technique is going to uh, give you better portfolio level return. Now, let us go to hybrid top 50 based on one year return. The ones that are investment worthy or JM Aggressive Hybrid Fund, ICC Potential Retirement Fund, Hybrid Aggressive Plan, Bank of India Mid and Small Cap Equity and Debt Fund, Quant Multi Asset Fund, ICC Potential Child Care Fund, SBA Magnum Children Benefit Fund, Investment Plan, Mahindra Manual Life Aggressive Hybrid Fund, Aditya Barla Sun Life Multi Index FOF, Inusco India Aggressive Hybrid Fund. See, the value of this analysis is it looks at the top 50 based on both one month and one year, both for equity, hybrid, and overall. Then it looks for consistent performers among the top 50, having above average returns in all timelines. And you get this analysis on a weekly basis. That means in a month, you get four windows to look up, to go for fresh investments. 
So you have too many choices. Therefore, you can be very picky and juicy on putting fresh money into mutual funds. Therefore, by using this technique, you are better off uh, on your overall portfolio level gain because you instead of averaging out with some uh, you know subpar performance, you tend to stay with the consistent performance and pumping money into them more than once as they appear in the list on a weekly basis. Now, commodities funds, commodity funds continue to recover. However, on a monthly basis, they still have positive return. And as a result, their annual returns are still better than fixed deposit and at around 12%. So on a monthly basis, the top 50 uh, ones, the, the green ones are still investment worthy, but more as a replacement for Fixed deposits, they are Aditya Billa Sun Life Gold Fund, SBI Gold Fund, UTI Gold, ETF, Fund of Fund, Cotat Gold, ETF, HGFC Gold Fund, LIC Mutual Fund, Gold ETF, FOF, ICIC Potential, Regular Gold Savings Fund, FOF, Nippon India Gold Savings Fund. So these are the investment worthy you know, in the commodity funds. So so I, I don't uh, show here the uh, debt funds uh, details. We can anyway skip that. Uh, there is nothing uh, investment worthy discussion available for debt funds. So that comes to the end of uh, top 50 mutual fund analysis this week. The details of this analysis is available at the blog, Max Fund Corner on Blogger. And you can contact me if you have any questions or feedback. And I continue to put the link of my weekly blog on various uh, uh, platforms, as you can see here. See here, I hope you will have a good week ahead. And I hope you are continuing to make mutual fund and investments in Indian market uh, at a, an annual return of an average 40%. Uh, going by these statistics, which is, uh, I would say, continuation of the golden period for Indian markets. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.